Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a quick video tutorial on how to customize your Google Classroom banner. Here is an example of one that I had made this morning. Um, I have my little Bitmoji here. If you do not have a Bitmoji or uh, the Bitmoji app downloaded on your home computer or your phone, you're going to have to do that if you want to have a little avatar version of yourself. Uh, you see here I was able to add a whiteboard and a couch and shelves and a little photo of my family in the background. You can customize yours as much or as little as you would like. You can make it look like a house, an actual classroom. It's up to you. For home learning purposes, I actually made it look like a house. So this is how you are going to customize your Google Classroom banner. I'm going to start with a new Google Slides presentation here, and I'm going to delete the text boxes, then we need to change the size of this template. So we're going to go to File, Page Setup. We're going to go to Custom. And we do not want itch inches. You're going to use pixels. So the size of the Google Classroom banner is 800 by 200. So you're going to change that. You're going to hit Apply. And then I'm just going to change the color of the background here just so you can see what that now looks like. So you see the size of it has changed. Okay, from here, you're going to find a background. So you want to find some kind of empty living space. So maybe you would type in um, walls and floor background. I mean, really, it just depends on what you're looking for. Okay, and see, I have one here. It's different than the one that I used in my example, but it'll work. So I'm just going to stretch this to fit in the space. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I'm going to want to add some furniture. So And it usually helps to type in clip art. Um, a lot of other images, if you just type it out, there'll be general functions. But they'll, a lot of them will have that white space in the background. And then you're going to have to mess with it. Um, if you need help with that, send me a message. I can kind of guide you through how to take that background out of some images. It doesn't work well with all of them. Um, but then here, so I'm going to choose this couch. Okay, thank God there's no white in the background, so I already have it. However, it's facing in the wrong direction because if you want to use your Bitmoji and you want to have them sit on the couch, the Bitmoji sits in the other direction. So if you have an image like this and you need to flip it, and I'm going to show you what I mean, you're going to right click here on the image and you're going to go to rotate and flip horizontally. And you see that puts my couch in the other direction, which is exactly what I want. Okay, then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on my little, once you already have um, a Bitmoji app downloaded onto your computer, you're just going to click Bitmoji up there. And you see it's opening slowly, but I already have it here. It's in my recent. So I'm just going to click on this, but otherwise you would just go up into the search bar here and you're going to type in sitting. And this is the first option that pops up. So it says to right click copy image, and then I'm going to paste. And there I am. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little smaller. And there, I'm sitting on the couch. Now, obviously the couch is too big, so I'm going to need to make that a little bit smaller as well, because we have to stay in our 800 by 200 frame here. Move this down. A little bit more. There. Now, for the most part, I'm 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 fit in. I'm not going to sit and, and continue to mess with it. Um, something else I want to quickly just add in. So I want to insert a whiteboard. Okay. And I can make this as long or as short as I want. And then like you saw in my example, I can add end tables, lamps. I mean, your, your options are endless. 
Um, but once you have everything done the way that you want it to be done, you are going to then go up to file. You're gonna to come to download and you wanna download this image as a JPEG. So you're gonna save it to your computer. Okay, and then once you go into your Google Classroom, this is now on my computer. You see the little file down here at the bottom. I already have one of my Google Classrooms uploaded. So you can do something like this with your Bitmoji account as well. You can just create a standard colored background and add a bunch of Bitmojis with different little things here like I have. Um, but if you wanna change it, you're just going to go to Upload Photo. You're gonna choose from your computer the photo that you just did, that you just did, downloaded the JPEG from the Google Slides presentation, and you're gonna upload it onto your Google Classroom. So I hope that helped all of you. I hope you have fun creating your Bitmoji Classrooms. If you need any help, just reach out to me. Thank you.